the world had changed. The air was thick with pollution, the sky was a murky brown, and the few remaining forests were dying. The effects of climate change were undeniable, and humanity was struggling to survive. The only hope for the future was in the hands of the scientists who were conducting genetic experiments in a last-ditch effort to save the planet's biodiversity. The experiments were top secret, and the scientists were working with limited resources. But they were determined to find a solution. They started with small-scale experiments, trying to create new species of animals that could survive in the new environment. The first few experiments were a success. The animals were stronger, faster, and more resilient than their predecessors. But the scientists soon realized that they had made a grave mistake. The animals were not only evolving, but they were also becoming increasingly aggressive and dangerous. One day, a group of scientists was working in the lab when they heard a loud noise coming from one of the containment rooms. They rushed over to investigate and found that the animals had broken out of their cages. They were no longer the same creatures that they had created. They were bigger, more muscular, and had developed razor-sharp teeth and claws. The scientists tried to contain the animals, but it was too late. The creatures were already on the loose, and they were hungry. They started attacking anything that moved, tearing apart other animals, and even killing the scientists who had created them. The world watched in horror as news reports came in from around the globe. The once harmless animals had become bloodthirsty monsters, and humanity was not prepared for the threat they posed. The government quickly mobilized its forces, trying to contain the animals and protect the public. Meanwhile, a group of survivors had banded together to try and find a way to survive in the new world. They were led by a former soldier named John, who had seen combat in some of the world's most dangerous places. John knew that they needed to keep moving if they were going to stay alive. They were always on the move, never staying in one place for too long. The survivors encountered all kinds of dangers as they traveled. They were constantly being hunted by the evolved animals, which seemed to be getting smarter and more cunning with each passing day. They had to rely on their wits and skills to stay alive. As they journeyed through the ruined landscape, they discovered that they were not alone. There were other survivors out there, struggling to survive just like them. Some were friendly, while others were hostile. They had to be careful who they trusted. Despite the dangers, the survivors refused to give up. They knew that they were the only hope for humanity, and they were determined to fight for survival, no matter the cost. But they also knew that the creatures that had once been animals were now something much more dangerous. They were apex predators, and they were evolving. The survivors were in for a fight that would test them to their very limits. As the survivors traveled through the wasteland, they encountered more and more of the evolved animals. They had grown to monstrous proportions, with bodies that were stronger and faster than any human could match. They had developed heightened senses, and their instincts for hunting were now razor sharp. The survivors were constantly on the move, always looking for shelter and supplies. They scavenged for food and water, but they also knew that they needed weapons to defend themselves against the creatures. They scavenged what they could, but their supplies were limited. They were always on the lookout for anything that could be used as a weapon. John led the group with a steady hand, but even he had moments of doubt. They were constantly being hunted, and there seemed to be no end to the creature's hunger. They were smart, and they learned quickly. The survivors had to be careful, always staying one step ahead of the creatures. The survivors developed a system of lookouts, always watching for danger. They took turns standing watch, while the others slept. They had developed a sense of camaraderie, and they relied on each other for survival. One night, the survivors were huddled around a small fire, trying to stay warm. They had managed to find a small cache of supplies, and they were feeling relatively safe. But then they heard a rustling in the bushes. They knew what was coming. The creatures emerged from the darkness, their eyes glowing in the firelight. They were big, with fur that seemed to absorb the light. Their teeth glinted in the firelight, and their claws clicked against the rocks. The survivors knew that they had to fight. John shouted out orders, 
and the survivors sprang into action. They fought with everything they had, using whatever weapons they could find. They managed to fend off the creatures, but they knew that it was only a matter of time before they were attacked again. As they continued their journey, the survivors encountered other groups of survivors. They banded together, sharing supplies and knowledge. They learned from each other, and they became stronger as a result. But they also encountered other dangers. They came across abandoned facilities where the scientists had conducted their experiments. They discovered that the scientists had been experimenting on more than just animals. They had been experimenting on humans too. The survivors found cages filled with mutated humans, their bodies twisted and deformed by the experiments. They had been turned into mindless creatures, driven only by hunger. The survivors knew that they had to put them out of their misery. The survivors continued their journey, always moving forward. But they knew that they were not just fighting for survival. They were fighting for the future of humanity. They knew that if they didn't find a way to stop the creatures, they would continue to evolve, becoming even more dangerous in the years to come. They were in a race against time, and they knew that the stakes could not be higher. As the survivors traveled deeper into the wilderness, they encountered more and more of the evolved creatures. They had become the apex predators, dominating the food chain and hunting without mercy. The survivors knew that they had to find a way to stop them, or else humanity would be wiped out. They came across a research facility that had been abandoned by the scientists. The survivors scavenged for supplies and weapons, but they also discovered something else. The scientists had been working on a vaccine that could potentially reverse the effects of the genetic mutations. The survivors knew that they had to find the vaccine, but they also knew that it wouldn't be easy. The facility was crawling with creatures, and the vaccine was located in the heart of the facility. They had to fight their way through the creatures to get to it. John led the charge, and the survivors fought with everything they had. They used explosives, guns, and whatever else they could find to take down the creatures. It was a brutal fight, but they managed to make it to the lab where the vaccine was located. Inside the lab, they found the vaccine, but they also found something else. The scientists had left a message, warning them about a new danger. They had discovered that the creatures had started to mutate again, and they had become even more dangerous than before. The survivors knew that they had to act fast. They injected themselves with the vaccine and then set out to find the source of the mutation. They discovered that the creatures had been feeding on a new type of plant that had grown in the wilderness. The plant had been contaminated with a chemical that had caused the mutations to accelerate. The survivors knew that they had to destroy the plant, but it was heavily guarded by the creatures. They fought their way through the guards, using the knowledge they had gained from their previous encounters with the creatures. They managed to make it to the plant and set explosives to destroy it. As the explosives detonated, the survivors knew that they had succeeded. They had saved humanity from extinction. They had destroyed the source of the mutation and had prevented the creatures from evolving any further. But they also knew that they had paid a heavy price. Many of their friends and fellow survivors had been lost along the way. They had fought and died for the sake of humanity, and they would always be remembered. The survivors returned to civilization, where they spread the vaccine and the knowledge they had gained from their experiences. They knew that the world would never be the same, but they were grateful for the chance to rebuild. And as they looked back at the wilderness, they knew that the creatures were still out there, waiting. They knew that the fight for survival was far from over, but they also knew that they were ready to face whatever came their way. The survivors returned to their homes and families, but they were forever changed by their experiences. They had seen things that no one should ever have to see, and they had fought for their lives against creatures that were once mere animals. They struggled to readjust to their old lives, haunted by the memories of what they had been through. Some turned to alcohol and drugs to numb the pain, while others became reclusive, unable to face the world outside. John, however, refused to let the experience define him. He saw it as a second chance, a chance to make a difference in the world. 
He devoted his life to educating people about the dangers of genetic experimentation and the importance of preserving the natural world. He founded an organization dedicated to protecting endangered species and habitats, and he traveled the world, giving speeches and raising awareness. He became a hero to many, a symbol of hope in a world that had been forever changed by the evolution of carnivorous animals. But the creatures still remained a threat. Despite the destruction of the mutated plant, some of them had survived and continued to roam the wilderness. They were smarter now, more organized, and more dangerous than ever before. The survivors knew that they couldn't let their guard down, that they had to be ready for whatever came their way. They formed a network of scouts and trackers, keeping a watchful eye on the wilderness and reporting any signs of the creatures. And then, one day, a report came in. The creatures had been spotted in a nearby town, attacking and killing people. John knew that he had to act fast. He rallied the survivors and led them into battle once again. It was a fierce battle, but they were better prepared now. They had learned from their past mistakes, and they had better weapons and tactics. They fought with all their might, determined to protect the innocent and rid the world of the creatures once and for all. In the end, they emerged victorious. The creatures were defeated, and the survivors could finally breathe a sigh of relief. But they knew that the threat would never truly be gone. They had won the battle, but the war would go on. And so, they continued to fight. They continued to protect the world from the dangers of genetic experimentation and the unpredictable forces of nature. They knew that they couldn't change what had happened, but they could change the future. They could make the world a safer place for generations to come. And as they looked out into the wilderness, they knew that they were ready for whatever came their way. They had survived the horror of the evolving carnivorous animals, and they were stronger for it. They were warriors, defenders of the world, and they would never forget what they had been through. Years passed since the final battle against the mutated carnivorous animals. The survivors had rebuilt their lives, and the world had slowly begun to heal from the scars left by the creatures. John's organization had grown, and he had become a respected leader in the field of conservation. He had gained the trust and admiration of people all over the world, and his efforts had helped to save countless species from the brink of extinction. But despite their successes, John and the survivors never forgot the horror of what had happened. They knew that the threat of genetic experimentation and the unpredictable forces of nature still existed, and they remained vigilant, always watching and always ready to fight. And then, one day, a new threat emerged. Rumors began to circulate of a new kind of creature, one that was even more dangerous than the mutated carnivorous animals. These creatures were intelligent, ruthless, and had a hunger for human flesh. John and the survivors knew that they had to act fast. They began to investigate, gathering information and preparing for battle. But they soon realized that this new threat was unlike anything they had ever faced before. The creatures were fast, strong, and seemingly unstoppable. They had a natural ability to blend into their surroundings, making them almost invisible to the human eye. And worst of all, they were multiplying rapidly, spreading throughout the world like a plague. The survivors knew that they were facing their greatest challenge yet. They knew that the fate of the world hung in the balance. But they also knew that they had the strength and determination to fight back, no matter what the cost. And so, they rallied once again, determined to protect the world from this new threat. They fought with all their might, using everything they had learned from their past battles. They were warriors, defenders of the world, and they would not let the creatures win. In the end, the survivors emerged victorious, but not without great loss. Many had sacrificed their lives in the battle, and the world would never be the same again. But they had saved humanity from certain doom, and they had proven that even in the darkest of times, there was always hope. John and the survivors returned to their homes, forever changed by their experiences. They knew that the world would always be full of dangers, but they also knew that they had the power to overcome them. And as they looked out into the wilderness, they knew that they were ready for whatever came their way. They had survived the horror of the evolving carnivorous animals, and they had emerged stronger for it. 
They were warriors, defenders of the world, and they would never forget what they had been through.